Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brannon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video number 16 or tutor tutorial number 16 in the series that I'm doing on creating a CRUD style application or tool what have you in Microsoft Access and it's based on a, just a single table database. It's a customer's table with customer information so we've built uh, four forms and we've actually gotten through all letters in the CRUD acronym create read update and destroy in the last video we finished off the part of our um, customer detail form where we can delete a form so the problem that left us with and this is really not a uh, it's not a problem with uh, Excel or I'm sorry access so much as it is the strategy that I took earlier on as I was building the um, the uh, application or the tool and that was when I decided to um, when we would go into the all customers form and you wanted to go into further detail on a particular form if I clicked on that I I left it as such that the all customers form would remain open you can see the tab there so you can go back and forth and that's left us with, with a little bit of problems so if I go to 4011 here and I delete the record let's just walk through that I click yes to delete it what happens is when the that form closes on that delete button click event it doesn't open a new form because it doesn't have to it just closes that form and now we can view the all customers form with um, with I mean it's still got the same it's still got the row for the data we just deleted the only issue is that it is that record is physically no longer there so it shows these deleted um, text strings with a hash mark in all of those fields because it doesn't exist so the only way uh, outside of you know reconfiguring our buttons and our click events to open and close certain forms uh, the only way you can refresh this is to go up to the records uh, group on the home tab and click on refresh which is no problem we could do that however uh, to me that's a little bit messy uh, we've come this far building a lot of <clears throat> really cool features that are almost like, you know, software application type features. So I'm trying to make this as smooth as possible for, you know, somebody to come in off the street that's not really access savvy and just kind of, you know, they still know how to use a basic uh, computer application. So we've got all these buttons here. Uh, and things that we're going to, you know, we've spent a lot of time mapping out. So I'm going to re-strategize how I did that before to help us with this issue. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add an action to our detail button click event. So with our all customers form open, I'm going to go to design view. And with uh, the detail button selected, I'm going to go over here to the property sheet and then uh, go to the event tab and if your property sheet's not open just uh, go to your design tab up here in the ribbon and over here in the tools section just make sure you click that property sheet and uh, it's you know if it's not open it's probably light gray like that you just hover over it and click on it and activate it so you go to the event tab and uh, we've already got a, an embedded macro that exists on our on click event for the detail button so i'm going to click on this um, button with the uh, three dots and so what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to actually add an action. So much like we did in the uh, click event for the buttons off of our main form when we would open the all new, I'm sorry, the um, all customers uh, or view all button and or the uh, add new button. What we would do is we would um, have our action here set to open the forms that we wanted to open but it would also have an action to close the window close the main form window so we're going to use that same concept here and so we need to add the close window action and then when i press tab it gives me these details or these um, instructions it needs so the object type is form and then it's going to be the all customers form so we're going to close the all customers form instead of leaving it open and then in the buttons on the uh, customer detail form we'll have to add some actions to those on click events which would be to reopen the all customers form so let me go ahead and save this close it save the database go back to um, form view and so now when we go to uh, we click on detail this should open the 
uh, customer detail form, but not leave the all customers form open. So we should always have just one tab. So I'll click on detail. Yes, save. And so now you see it uh, just leaves the new customer form open. I can't close it and go just go back to the all customers form because if I do, we get nothing. There's no forms open. This is a problem, so we need to go back and we need to, I'll go to the main form, we'll go to view all, uh, we'll go back to detail and we can open up the customer detail form. Now we need to add those actions to all three of these buttons real quick. So it shouldn't be a big deal. This is kind of repetitive, so it's good. Uh, and if you've been following along, this is just kind of review. So let's go, sorry, let's go to uh, design view. And uh, I'm going to select the close button first. We're going to go in here to the on click event. Click that uh, button with the three dots. The new action is going to be open form at this point. And then I'll just press tab. And then the form name is all customers, of course. There's nothing else we need to do. Click save, click close. And now let's just test that real quick. So if we close, yes, I want to save. So let me go back in here. Let's close. And it gets us back to the all customers form. Now this, and I'm, I'm going to add this to the other buttons real quick, but just to tell you, this should be enough for it to refresh the database table, those records before it reopens this. So that way we should avoid ever seeing the, the uh, hash mark with the deleted in any of these fields. So let me go back to detail. And let's finish this up real quick. Let's go to design view, go to save changes. And then uh, in the embedded macro, this has got a lot of actions already there. So just go all the way to the bottom. So you've got this little plus sign, add new action. That's going to be open form. Press tab, form name, all customers. Good to go there. Save that. Close. And then uh, now we need to do it on delete record. And same thing. Go all the way to the bottom. And then add the new action to open form. Tab, form name, all customers save that close and now um, let's go back to form and so i'm on record id 4012 if i delete the record click yes if you go down here you see 4012 is gone and there's no space there where it once was and so it doesn't leave that it just when when we add that open form action to the on click event it technically opens this form all over again. So it was closed and now it opens it based on, and it shows us all the data that currently exists in that table after that record's been deleted. So let's uh, try this. Let's go into uh, 4005, click on detail. Let's uh, save a change here. Let's say um, this is wrong. This shouldn't have a two there. So we'll save the changes. It should close our form and go back. And of course that change there you see that so it did open the form um, so that's working and then let's just one more time let's go to detail let's go ahead and delete this record let's test this again click yes and now 4005 has been deleted and uh, everything's looking really good so let's close that form goes back to the uh, main form so cool if you're following along and uh, yours is working that way you're trucking and uh, good job so I think uh, we're getting close to this really being finalized there's a few things uh, more high-level things we're kind of kind of get away from the form actions and uh, you know most of that's pretty much done now the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually address this exit app button and so we'll address that in the next video and then the video after that we will split the database and so what that means is we'll split the forms into a front end uh, version of the file and the customers table will be a back-end version of the file that way you can save the back-end uh, version which contains the actual database table to like a network drive if you wanted to and then you could have multiple copies of your front-end version that just contains the forms and connect to that single back-end uh, file and then work from several different machines or several different copies of that in the same database so I'll see you in the next video Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.